So this is it. This is one of the big essential tasks and goals you must achieve to become an Internet G certified home inspector. CPI, we call it, Certified Professional Inspector. CPI, Certified Professional Inspector, is a certification mark, a federally registered certification mark. No one else on the planet is allowed, permitted, to say, I am a Certified Professional Inspector, unless you are indeed one through Internet G and the Internet G School, the Home Inspector College, free and online to Internet G members. So, your goal here in this essential task is to attain the CPI certification. And let's go there now. Let me follow the link with you. And it looks like that. So home inspector certification requirements. There's a little short video on how to do it. But here are the six steps. And there are six steps to certification. One, two, three, four, five, six. When you complete all six steps, you are Internet G certified. You are a certified home inspector. You are a certified professional inspector and you can use the logo, CPI logo. And you have a world of opportunities just opened up to you. So you can be a member of Internet G, but um, it's somewhat limited because there are a lot of products and services that are available to only certified home inspectors. One of them is the huge search engine that we have. So if you go to one of our search engines for a, finding a certified home inspector that many people do, real estate agents, contractors, home buyers, home sellers, general public, when they're looking for a certified professional inspector, they use one of our search engines like inspectorseek.com, inspectorseek.com, go there. The only certified home inspectors show up. So not every member, not just a member. So we have a ton of members, but only a set of certified inspectors who are available on our search engines. We only list certified inspectors. So if you're not a certified inspector, maybe you're licensed in your state or you're certified or regulated in, in your province or country. That doesn't mean you're going to be on our search engines, right? So remember, you have to update your profile, get your website in there, and then we'll send you leads. But we only send leads to certified home inspectors. We don't send leads to members, right? You have to be a certified home inspector. You have to go through the training and certification process. And there are six steps to become a certified home inspector. Let's take a look at each one. First one is you pass the online home inspector exam. This is a very difficult exam. Most people fail. It's difficult. If you are uh, just coming right off the street and uh, you're uh, a math teacher, let's say, or you're a contractor, maybe you have some skill sets, try to take this exam. It's very challenging. There's 120 questions and um, there's, a, there's a benchmark, 80%. So you have to get an 80% mark in order to pass this exam. This online inspector exam, um, is uh, free and online and open to everyone. So you can take it on and, uh, over and over again if you happen to fail. But um, it's a good tool in which to use to gauge your knowledge of home inspections. So at the end of the exam, our system, our exam system, will tell you where you are strong and where you are weak. And where you are weak will give you recommended training courses in which to strengthen that area of your knowledge. So it's a really great tool to use in order to just gauge yourself if you're new. And, or, and also it's required uh, to take it every three years if you're certified. So we require our home inspectors uh, continuing education requirements and also you have to take the certification exam over and over again every three years. Step two, join Internet G. So remember, you don't have to be a member to take the online, online inspector exam. You can take it anytime you want. But if you want to join Internet G at any time you can, and we are currently at $49 a month or $499 a year, join Internet G. Again, a whole world of opportunity opens up to you as a member. But to be certified is where you, well, 
experience what it is to be a certified professional inspector. Ah, step three, code of ethics course. You have to take the InterNACHI Home Inspector Code of Ethics course. And then you have to complete the Standards of Practice course. This is about the home inspection standards of practice. What is required and not required of a home inspector to inspect, describe, report, identify as defects, hazards, safety issues, and then uh, structural problems, and then write them in a report. So the home inspection standards of practice, it's a bit difficult, but um, you'll get through it. Step five, submit four mock or pretend inspection reports to InterNACHI using our free online inspection checklist. So um, we don't certify anyone because you happen to write inspection reports in the past. Maybe you wrote 100 inspection reports or 200 or 500 or 1,000 inspection reports in the past. You can't be certified because you wrote an inspection report in the past. No one, uh, that is an improper way to train and certify someone. So we require you to do something today according to our standard and our software. Our inspection checklist software forces you to inspect a home according to the standards of practice so you can be assured that you are performing an inspection and writing a report according to a standard. Step six, sign the enrollment agreement. So that's your official, that's your, you sign your signature. Literally, you sign on the line. And then you are indeed an InterNACHI certified home inspector. And you have attained the certified professional inspector designation. So let me take a look with you on that inspector exam. Let's click that link, okay? So here's the online inspector exam. We have it in English form. We have it in French for our Canadian friends. We, we are also going to have it in Spanish soon. Here's about the exam. InterNACHI's job task analysis for the home inspector lists all of the tasks a home inspector may perform, as well as the knowledge, skills, and abilities required to do those tasks. And the InterNACHI Home Inspector exam assesses the knowledge, skills, and abilities required to perform a competent home inspection. The content domain covered by the InterNACHI Home Inspector exam is clearly defined and explained in terms of the home inspector's competence. The InterNACHI online home inspector exam was developed using a blueprint based upon the InterNACHI Home Inspection Standards of Practice and Code of Ethics with test methodology based on the standards for educational and psychological testing by numerous organizations. The InterNACHI school is accredited by the National Accrediting Agency of the U.S. Department of Education and as a college member of the National Association of Career Colleges of Canada. And the exam is a required entrance exam for the nationally accredited Home Inspector Certificate Program. We also have a proctored version of the exam. There are four essential factors related to the psychometric validity of any test, and they are validity, reliability, fairness, and legal defensibility. And InterNACHI's online exam has all four of those characteristics. So feel free to take the online InterNACHI Home Inspector exam. It's one of the six certification requirements. The other one is to join InterNACHI. The third, Code of Ethics course, and that's a free online co course available to InterNACHI members, so you have to join first. The Standards of Practice course, that's free and online. The four mock inspections with the free inspection checklist. There's two steps. Perform four home inspections. And a mock inspection is performed for no fee according to the InterNACHI standards of practice. And each of the four inspections could be performed on your home, apartment, a friend's home, a family's home, a neighbor's home. And then step two, you write and submit four pretend mock inspection reports using our report checklist.
and it looks a little like this. So you enter the address of the property and the date of the inspection, and there's the inspection roof, uh, the covering materials. Let's say that there's no defects observed, or maybe you want to type some optional comments. The gutters, there's a minor defect. Let's say there's a, a dent in the front gutter. Um, downspouts, let's say um, they were uh, not present. <laughs> and vents flashing, skylights, chimney, other roof penetrations. What if there was a material defect? And the material defect, and you can make comments, right? And you keep going on, and through all the systems and components, on the left side, you save it, you can send it as an email, convert it into a PDF, it's saved in our system, and it confirms that you have indeed fulfilled one of the requirements to become a certified home inspector. Step six is you sign the enrollment affidavit, and you can sign that with your finger uh, digitally on any device, and that, um, that is your final step to become a certified home inspector. We want your signature, and we want you to agree that you have done all of those things, and you will comply with the following requirements, which are, you have to maintain your CPI certification. So you have to take courses. You're not done yet, but we give you an entire year to take them. And then after you complete that, you have to take continuing education courses. And every three years, you have to take that online exam. It is a high bench mark. It is very difficult to become an internet G home inspector and also to maintain your certification. That's why when you become a certified professional inspector, you use that logo like crazy. You use it right next to your business logo. You make sure everybody knows how you have attained certification through the only home inspector college accredited by the U.S. Department of Education. You are a graduate of a college accredited home inspector certificate program and you download that certificate and you download that logo and you be proud of that because it is difficult to become an Internet G certified home inspector. So six steps to become a certified home inspector. That is one of your essential tasks to attain certification. And if you need help, any kind of question or concern that you have, you have an education team of a team of six people, fully staffed, right, by InterNACHI, who work for you to help you with your education, to help you graduate from the nationally accredited Home Inspector Certificate Program, to become an InterNACHI certified home inspector and attain the CPI designation.